Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One user in the chat room uh, earlier was asking a question about screen capturing in Windows Vista. Uh, you can do that normally uh, just by pressing the print screen key and what happens is uh, the entire desktop it is captured as an image to your virtual clipboard and can be pasted into any image editor like well, Microsoft Paint, Photoshop, you name it. Uh, or if you hold on to Alt Print Screen, it will just capture the window that you're focused on. So if I'm looking at, let's say, Firefox, and I'm focused on Firefox, I hit Alt Print Screen, it'll just capture that window uh, to the clipboard, and then you can paste it into an image editor. But he's wanting to save out those images immediately to a specified directory. He's asking about Windows Vista, and this is a pretty clear distinction, I think, uh, because Vista does things differently than other versions of Windows in the sense that it captures or has the potential of capturing transparency. So like all the shading that's happening on the desktop, it's not, if you don't have the right software to support it, it's not going to look very good if you capture it just like blatantly and then you have to crop it, it's just kind of sloppy. Uh, there's a free program that is made by a guy named Kenny Care, K-E-N-N-Y, K-E-R-R, and it's called window clippings. It's very unobtrusive, and this is the reason why I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, it, it doesn't get in my way until I need it. I just hit print screen, and then I go and I select the window that I want to capture. I double click that window. It clips it, saves it with alpha blended transparency, so it's, it's, it looks clean. It's saved as a ping, PNG file to the desktop, and you might remember we answered a question earlier on the differences between JPEG and ping. Saves it at my specified directory is the desktop where I can I can do uh, working right there and copy and move things back and forth. But wherever you want to save it, you can specify the directory. He's working on a new version of window clippings. Uh, it and I think from 1.5 forward, it's compatible with Windows XP. So even if you don't have Vista, it'll work uh, just fine. Uh, runs in the system tray, as I said. I'll show you. I mean, it's it's really really simple to use. Uh, in Vista, I just hit print screen. You can't see this very well because I'm Again, I'm going through the Mac here. Uh, and it blurs out my desktop, and then I just literally double click an application window. It captures it, and then it literally saves it as an image on my desktop instantaneously. So now I've created a, a screenshot. Well, this happened to be of Outlook, and it, it, it didn't save any part of the background or anything. And I've got a nice fading tra uh, like shadow around the screenshot. It's very, very nice. It's very, very clean, and it's very, very free. You see a, a few people. Oh, thank you for the link there, Zoomrix. A uh, few people are, are posting other suggestions for screen capturing uh, mechanisms. Someone was recommending Fraps uh, for getting screenshots during games. Uh, Camtasia, uh, their uh, their screenshot application. Of course, TechSmith you know sponsors the stuff that Locker Room and, and we do here. Uh, also, CamStudio.org was recommended. Snagit, well, TechSmith. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, but, you know, if, if any of these don't work for you, you know, keep looking. There's plenty of software available. My choice is Kenny Care's uh, Window Clippings, again, largely because it's built for Vista, with Vista in mind. It's clean, unobtrusive, and it's free. So hopefully that'll get you going.